freshwater creeks in the high country can hold some seriously good fishing and this one's home to some beautiful rainbow trout. Okay, tiny little hard bodied lures for big trout, that's the idea anyway. Getting uh, late in the day, I've turned up a bit late but look it's never too late to put a bit of this on, don't forget sunscreen so important, I know I harp on about it but um, it, uh, it only takes two seconds to get you prepared. A bit of uh, SPF 30, never goes astray and you spend so much time in the sun. And uh, sunscreen like that, and you know I use, I love this brand because it doesn't, uh, doesn't stay greasy, dries on my hands. It takes two seconds to put it on, but just make sure you don't forget. So the idea is we're gonna flick some little hard bodies up and down this creek system here. I'm out here with my mate Max. You might have seen Max on the show before. We're pretty good mates, him and I, and uh, little replica hard bodies that look like tiny trout seem to work really, really well. Shallow divers. So we're trying this end of the stream at the moment. Maybe we might end up back that way, trying to find those deep holes and then work them along the edges. Fingers crossed we find a few fish. Oh well, no luck there, so time to keep heading upstream. Nice fish. Oh, come out of there, you. Oh. Right, mate, come out of there. Oh. Got him, Maxie. He's nice out fish, there. Mike. Yeah, beautiful little fish. He's just come flying out there and climbed on that hard body. He's got a bit of go. Oh, he's lagging <laughs> ever. Oh, he's back the other way. Woo! Beautiful little fish. All right, there we go. It's not a bad start at all. That's a nice fish. Magnificent colors, those rainbows. There's no doubt about them. Oh, he's probably all hung up with that little hard body in there now, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah. Well, it was a nice little rainbow. <laughs> it's probably the type of release. I wanted to show you that fish. I was just getting the hooks out and I actually dropped him. He's gone back in the drink, but not a bad start. And I'm sure there's another fish in this hole. Yeah. We've got the nursery here, Mike. Looks like it. Some little packers in here, isn't it? Oh, gotcha. Bang. Another tiny little fella. Good to see, Maxie. Yeah. Great. Great to see these little fellas. Another fish breeding. Yeah, cute little fish. Beautiful little rainbow. Wow. Well, once your big brother, mate, just go down and tell him for me. Oh, fish rising there. Oh, wow. How good was that? See that big bow weight come after it there, Maxie? Nice fish. Yeah. Nice fish, Mike. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> solid, Max. That's solid. Sun's going down, the little hard bodies are coming into their own. Oh. Beautiful, look at the size of that rainbow trout. So we can get him in the net, mate. Yes. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> oh dear, that's a beauty. Sun's going down, look at that. Magnificent time of the day. And a nice big rainbow up around that. That'd be up around that four pound mark, I guess. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Beautiful rainbow, just about that lure out. Cast that little hard body, shallow running little hard bodied lures, little minnows, and they look like baby trout, baby brown and rainbow trout, rainbow in this case, hopefully. And uh, twitch it along, you see that bow weight coming, and the anticipation is just huge that you're going to get a bite. The tiny little shallow running minnows like this, little hard bodies. Now, the size of the bib, as we've spoken about before, denotes how deep it's going to dive. Tiny little bib, so he's only going to go under the water about oh, probably 40 centimetres, 400 mil max little tiny sharp trebles and uh, the whole idea with trout they feed on a lot of terrestrial insects in this case I guess they're, they're hunting their own kind or a little bait fish profile at best so they are small lures and it takes light gear to throw them it's pretty basic the spin gear we're using a little one kilo rod beautiful little rod like this one one kilo little 1000 size reel some four pound uh, braid and that all goes back to uh, a little bit of six pound four to six pound fluorocarbon leader fantastic sport and you do need this super light gear to be able to throw these tiny little hard bodied lures and have success. 
So simple tackle, walking along the bank, throwing them, the sun's going down. And one other thing that you do need to do is be prepared. So I've got my pliers here ready to go in my pocket. One of these backpacks are just sensational. These things are awesome. Got my water bottle on the side, got my backpack, got all my gear. Best thing is I've got my stool camera in there so we can get a quick photo of this and let him go and be on our way. As the sun sets on the high country, a feisty little rainbow tops the day off.